Hey there guys, how are you? Welcome back to another awesome video. It's time for another movie review. And today's movie is going to be of Scoob. So Scoob follows the mystery gang kind of into somewhat superhero shenanigans. So I don't know who this is direct this movie is directed by and honestly I don't care and I'm not trying to be that guy honestly. I'm sorry. Um and to be honest, I don't know whose fault is at here whether it's Warner Brothers' fault or the director's fault. But if it's Warner Brothers' fault, I'm sorry whoever directed this movie. If it's the director's fault, I don't want to be that guy, but yeah. But uh um one good thing I can kind of say about this movie is that the animation, it's fine. It's okay. I guess it's nice. Um, the the cast on paper sounds good, but unfortunately, they're just kind of wasted potential. Like, like you have Will Forte as Shaggy, Gina Rodriguez as Velma, Zac Efron as Fred Jones, um, iconic voice actor Frank Welker comes back and returns as Scooby-Doo, and they're just kind of wasted here as as wasted performers. Ken Jeong's a character, and he's basically wasted comedic timing. Mark Wahlberg as Blue Falcon's kind of eh, and Jason Isaacs as the villain as Dick Dastardly. Like, you can tell he's he's probably one of the better performers, but he's still a wasted performer in this movie, honestly, and it's just kind of unfortunate. But the problem this movie has going is three things. Is that one, it doesn't seem to, it's very unsure of where this movie wants to be setting in what era of time. Does it want to be in the 80s? 80s? Does it want to be in the 90s? Does it want to be in the early 2000s? Like, it doesn't seem to have a cohesive, like, setting of where this is taking place. And to have our, like, to have these characters in the 21st century is kind of a bit, like, ridiculous. And it's it's just kind of like trying to make the like the characters very like hip and woke and relevant. It's just kind of stupid because like Scooby Doo is just fine for where it is. Like it's supposed to feel like this very old school '60s '70s sort of vibes that like they would have guest stars like James Brolin and Eartha Kitt, not someone like Simon Couch. <sighs> but yeah, um, they they're. And the thing is that they're trying to make this obviously very relevant and make Scooby-Doo hip. And, like, people my age that would probably, who they're trying to appeal to the, the audience, are fine for where Scooby-Doo is and the whole old school animation, how it looks and the sort of feel and etc. And you don't need to see, like, basically the, the mystery incorporated, like, with flossing and dabbing and emojis. It's just... It's so ridiculous. It's so stupid. The second thing is that if you're looking to sort of see a prequel to basically the mystery gang meeting each other, it's in like the five ten minutes of this movie, and it's and don't expect a lot because it's just five to ten minutes of of them meeting each other. How Shaggy met Scooby. You don't look for any of that stuff in this whole movie. It's just five to ten minutes, and that's it. And and the reason why it's like that is, is number three is it's now trying to do this big convoluted like cinematic universe it's building up and on paper a ha a Hanna Barbera cinematic universe sounds kind of cool sounds kind of fun a little bit but honestly it's another cinematic universe like how many are we gonna have and besides the MCU there are not that many great and like cinematic universes going on and it's just kind of like a trend and everything like the DC extended universe is kind of very confusing and unsure of itself right now the dark universe was a universe the universal was, was worst attempt at trying to do something the monster verse is at least at a decent sort of era right now it's not like it's perfect but it's like doing an okay job the m night Shyamalan universe was legitimately cool but to like expand upon it more would kind of be like take away its flavor and taste the valiant comic universe already looks atrocious and the hasbro cinematic universe is an idea that Hollywood finds it so uninteresting that it's barely touched upon whatsoever. And don't get me started on that, that whole like Stephen King, like Dark Tower universe, whatever that was trying to be. But 
to have another cinematic universe just feels like another trend. It just feels like something they're just trying to do and all. And honestly, like I said, this would be cool on paper, but... Like I said, this is something that really shouldn't really be going on in a, in a Scooby-Doo movie because usually Scooby-Doo focuses on like the supernatural and a lot of like mystery. This is more heading into like territory of like blockbusters and all sorts of like cliches with cinematic universes. And honestly, if you want to do a cinematic universe, do it in your comic books, in your Hanna-Barbera comics and do something like that. Maybe do them in your straight to DVD, direct to C like the direct to DVD like movies that you do with Scooby-Doo and the gang and how they've teamed up with all those characters and all that stuff here. It just don't do it here. I'm going to give Scoob a D minus. But those are my thoughts on Scoob. What'd you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please smash the like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do awesome videos every day, if not every week. And make sure you ring that bell to be notified of new videos, new content, all that, and more. And look out for more reviews, look for more, uh, for more top 10s, more gaming, more vlogs, more stuff like that. And don't forget to leave your suggestions on all sorts of things, um, whether it be bringing back awesome news. I hope that maybe that actually becomes a thing, bringing back, hashtag bring back awesome news. I hope. Um, there'll be more top 10s, there'll be more gaming, there'll be more a bit of more vlogs, a bit of more uh, movies and TV shows, all sorts of stuff. Whatever, guys, you name it. And I will look into it as much as I can. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.